Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferraris episode with Inferno the Fox on a GTA 5 in a Dukes of Death bullying a poor little panto. Turns out though, the panto has a rather clever trick with a helpful bounce in the right place and it is over the fence and safe. The Dukes can't get around that corner, it's far too tight for the rather large armoured muscle car, so has to go all the way back out and round if it wants to continue the pursuit. Certainly a very, very helpful escape tactic. Invisible AK on GTA 5 with the trailers, the notoriously peculiar physics trailers from the uh, gun running DLC on GTA 5. Yes, they do rather peculiar things, even weirder things when they end up, well, I say upside down, it's kind of released during the crash and physics decides that it's going up. Uh, if in doubt, game physics tends to throw stuff upwards for reasons. And sure enough, that's a, that, that's a way to have a rather uncomfortable day. He survived all of that though. Equally, we learn that tanks being airlifted by helicopters is perhaps not the safest idea. TM, TMDC Hyper with a tank flying rather low to the ground. Everything's roughly okay at the moment. And I say roughly okay for now, because when the tank hits a uh, sort of telephone pole or whatever, tank manages to go for a complete flip over the helicopter. I'm not quite sure uh, <laughs> about the physics of that, but uh, there we go. Stinty Boy 500 also having similar well, issues with the tank. Different issues in that the pilot of the helicopter gets disconnected. That means tank is going down and going down in quite spectacular fashion. It's another front flip for a tank. It amazingly manages to crash into the heli- explode said helicopter. The helicopter initially survived the landing and the tank uh, almost survived. It moved briefly before then being drowned. I'm to Stig on Forza Horizon 3 is uh, in the middle of a uh, race. Cross country races can go quite badly wrong quite quickly. And for this Subaru Impreza, it is uh, a big, big tumble. The initial crash is relatively minor, but as the AIs pile in, lift the car, carry the car around, it uh, gets an awful lot of added momentum before tumbling through the air. A grey goat on Forza Motorsport 6 is about to have a rather interesting encounter with the AI. Uh, keep an eye on the rearview mirror as the Ferrari decides to just drive straight through the Lamborghini. I know the Forza, the driver tars have their weird moments, but it's not very often in a dead straight line. It just fails to register there as a car there. He does a great job actually to get everything back under control, no problem. It's a weird... Weird AI, but there we go. Black and red 81 on the Gran Turismo Sport Beta is uh, heading off to set a hot lap at the Nürburgring uh, when the game has decided no. Nope. Not, not, <laughs> no, no hot lap for you in the Subaru. It's a rather precarious uh, one from the onboard. However, when it comes to the well, the external cameras, the replay cameras, the rear bumper gets caught on the end of the pit wall for whatever reason, and it's decided that the car shall be spun towards the uh, towards a very solid wall. Slideways on flat out ultimate carnage goes for a jump, manages to get connected with an AI car, sending them both, well, spinning wildly out of the road. Of course, there's a huge crash behind them as <laughs> more cars pile in to the, uh, into the kerfuffle. Ends up briefly into second before regaining that uh, lead. Wolfie on a dirt rally with a Subaru and Pretzer doing uh, something, well, bizarre like most things in this series, let's face it. Comes up to a normal corner, doesn't clip a dirt bank or a ditch or anything, and that's the Subaru gone for a tumble. I wonder if it's running very high, very soft suspension for, well, for Finland, you know, you've got lots of bumps and lots of jumps to try and survive. Can't say I've seen that happen very often, though. Can't say I've ever had that happen to me, just completely roll on its own. Hash Brown on Dirt 4 is uh, going for a roll across the Lidden Hill curb. Now, we've seen many rolls across this particular curb, although this one is, well, rather special just from the sheer, it's still going. It's still going before I'd finished that sentence. I think it said 19 rolls in that crash. That's a that's a lot of rolls. That's an awful lot of rolls in a crash. Dabiskid on F1 2016 doesn't quite realise how close the Red Bull is getting to the back of his car before he gets, well, pretty much landed on by an upside-down Ricardo. 
Uh, that's yeah. That's why you got to pay attention to when vehicles are alongside you, and perhaps give them a little bit more space. Otherwise, something like that might happen. Tom the Turtle on F1 2015 with uh, a rather easy pass up to the lead. Uh, it was a rather bizarre one. Vettel had damage to his car, was trying to limp back to the pits, and the game's AI kind of well decided that a traffic jam was the best way to deal with this, as uh, the player just about managing to narrowly avoid the Ferrari. They do eventually figure out their way past, but uh, there we go. David. H66 on a set of Corsa with a McLaren having a bad day and uh, well the Mercedes going for more of a flight yeah AI car just brushes the wall enough to well, stop it dead and sure enough the Mercedes well, initially gets flicked no sort of flick down and cars go underneath it launched up in the air it's a poorly poorly Mercedes Sauber from uh, from all of that look at the poor mighty wing all bent and, and crooked and finally we have Timmy 76 on R Factor 2 with perhaps one of my favorite fails of all time submitted to this series. I say this every so often, this one is definitely worthy of that name though. Doesn't quite pay attention to how wide the pit, uh, the pit box is, uh, manages to tear a wheel off at about three miles an hour. That is why you don't fit wheels with sellotape. That, that's why you've got to use proper materials for your, <laughs> for your drift cars. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to the series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description at the very top of the page is the Fail Race Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. Goodbye.